Go Green, Fender Benders. Car very hard into the wall, front tyre wall here on the front straight. As we go yellow. Lights are flashing, but they can't see them. So Arthur gives them the one finger. Check us out, Fender Bender. Fender Bender, a million bottles by Phil Mac. Thank you very much, Phil Mac. Great supporters at Sydney Speedway. Well, sort of try and settle down into a bit of a rhythm in the legend cars. Three wide, four wide almost. Contact left, right, and centre. Greg Morris was the one that lost out there by the pinball machine. Fishy, a race leader over Houston Heat. Greg Mitchell up to four. Cameron Ware behind him, Josie just beside him. Tonight's a made of the legend cars. Car six of Houston went in very hot in underneath heat. Made contact. Brett Mitchell making it wound up on the top side in the seven. He's up to third. Fast speed on the racetrack. Pitch 
Mitchell will come across the line with the race lead, I would have thought, next time by. Cameron Ware wheeling his way through. Contact with Newson. Peter still hangs on, Mitchell in second. Six in the book, nine to go. Side by side, battle for the race lead. Oh, Heaton, car straightened up on him. Brett Mitchell trying to get it done with those fluoro green wheel covers. Great battle for third position between Weir and Fisher. Weir picks up third. Heath still your race leader. Mitchell trying to make it work on the top side. So Heath's doing a nice job. Mitchell just can't do anything with him at the moment. Car on fire. Crash crew put that out. Mm -hmm. So the 26 of Heaton continues on with the race lead. Here comes Mitchell on the inside. Here comes Ware on the top side, nearly spins it. Four to go. Mitchell making it work on the bottom side. Heaton fights back in the 26. Bretto, Brett Mitchell. Heaton coming back. Oh, makes contact and he spins. Where now? Trying to get it to work on the top side. Morris trying to get on the podium. Still a little way back. Three to go now for your race leader, Brett Mitchell. Cameron Ware dives to the bottom. Picks up second. Heaton trying to get that run. Back on Ware on the top side. Two to go. Now Heaton goes to the bottom on Ware. What a battle for second position. Heaton goes back to second. Ware back to third. Speed spun in front of the race leader. We stay free. One to go. Brett Mitchell. He won last time the Legend Cars were here. And he's going to do it again. Out of turn four. Checkers are about to be waved. Brett Mitchell in car seven takes the win. Home in second goes to Mark Eaton. Cameron Ware in third. 20 on the board. We're green. Wingless ain't made. Patriota is your race leader, Bates in second, Britain third, Kyle Corn fourth, Jeff Rowe, Jeff Nee, having a bit of fun out there. So it's the 42, which is Steve Patriota, is your race leader. Bates trying to wheel it on the top side. Oh, there was contact back at the pack then. Coming out of four. Oh, there was more contact on the front straight. Wheel banging left, right and centre. Bates is your race leader. Someone very wide. Abbott in car 100. Three in the book, 17 remaining. 
So Bates is your race leader. A couple of heroes trying to run the top side and continuously trying to pass cars. It's not working for them. Down on that bottom half of the racetrack is the place to be. Mark White back in the cushion in three and four. Straightened the car up a couple of times on him. remaining. Bates, your race leader. Patriota in second, Court in third. Britain in fourth. Oh, Patriota, a little loose. Very loose out of four. Cost himself a podium. So Bates, three race leader, Corn in second, Britain in third, Lino, that's Mark White, in fourth. Maybe he hasn't moving forward in car 100. So Bates and Corn have cleared out. White now picks up third. Oh, contact down the front straight. Patriota with Abbott and Marshall White. to go. Brucey White back to the fence. Caught now. Got pressure from Blyton. Bates, do your race leader, Britain in four. Oh, Cord keeps hitting the bottom and sliding up. Costing in car speed through three and four. Spinner, Jeff Neve, turn four. Yellow, will go yellow as he gets the car going, but probably safer because it's in front of the race leader. Seven remaining, oh, it's an ugly restart. So five remaining as they come out of turn four. Oh! Patriota. Yellow light out, we go back green. Bates. Has led the majority of the way. Second place is Blight, and here comes the Rabbit, Damien Abbott in car 100. Born. Someone's motor's starting to sound a little funny out front. Not sure if it's the race leader or not. Four to go. So Abbott trying to make it round Blight.
wingless aim aim, but it was by Matt Trans. Oh, Damien Abbott! Wow! Big ride, that one. Big ride, rode the wheel. I can see Damien moving. Report over the radio that Damien Abbott is A-OK. -okay. That was a big ride. Robinson, Grimson for the two four drivers in this division. So Grimson's your lap one race leader. Robinson in second, Smee in third. Chrissy White back there in fourth. I almost say it's going to be between these two guys out in front. Jimmy Binks passed some cars, come from second last position. Then he's moved his way forward. Near five spares, 41. But race leader, Daryl Grimson over Dave Robinson. Nathan Speed, third, fourth. Brucey White, spinner. Nigel O'Neill. Keeps the car going, comes on in front of the race leaders. We stay green. Lord Smee just gives him the old uh, get out of the bloody road, I'm coming through. Oh, Jess Cassidy has a moment in turn four. She's got steering problems on that car, yellow light on. It's a blind of a start, he's up to second. Oh, Robbo went to the bottom, cars pushed massively. And open up the door for Disney, is it? Disney's gonna get past Bailey. Disney up to fourth. Bailey gets back by Disney. Got the car all cocked up. Plus Ross the boss in the Franks Auto Parks, number three. Tim Bink on the move. Front bumper, bonnet, whatever it is. On the 15. It's actually come off another car. So it's actually off. We'll try and work out whose car it's off. Off Bruce White's car, it's the bumper. Off Brucey White's car, he's on Bruce McKenzie's. Poor bastard, can't see a thing. So Nigel O'Neill fighting that race car. Oh, Smee has a moment out of four. Second, Disney and Pink are going to bat yellow. We go yellow. Twenty-one remaining. Grimson. Nathan Disney gets a good start. Robinson on the bottom, trying to push up the racetrack out of two. Disney trying to have a crack back on the outside. Oh, he struck was contact between him. So Disney's gone into the tyre wall with some broken steering, I would have thought. Grimson gets on the gas. Pink into second, Bailey back to third. Bailey gets a good run out of two.
but Brimson, cleared away from Bink Bailey, in third, speed out, takes over third. Brimson pulling away from the field. Surprise, Ross the Boss hasn't come through. Bailey straight lines it. Straight through three and four. In a blue smoke coming out of the back of that car. Then the Castri did the same in one and two, but hangs on to his position. He's in four. That's Ross the Boss. Track slinging off right now in three and four. One and two, still not too bad. Brimson in the 67. Noise flag, noise flag, gonna go out for Nicastri. That's Ross the boss. Yeah, number three. Ross Nicastri is gonna be given the noise flag, warn. Grimson now. Into lap traffic, Jess Cassidy first on his list. Fink is still in second, third is Smee. The Castro jumps the cushion in four. He stay green. Smee slowed through one and two that time. It's father versus son. Ross the boss in the Frank's Auto Parts number three. We've got Ben, the apprentice to Castro in the time target 99. Grimson now. Getting through the lap cars with ease. Tim Bing still in second position. Third is Nathan Smee. 11 to go. Oh, the apprentice gets past the boss. In other words, the son gets past dad. Grimson into turn three and four as the second place car comes out at two. Nine to go for Grimson. Racetrack. Bink still hangs on to second. Speed's closed in on him. As has the Castri, that's the apprentice. Oh, panel work going everywhere in turn one. Fiberglass everywhere in turn one. That's off the Castri's car. That's Ross the Castri's car. Race leader. Got half a lap. Ross the boss going back to the pits. Grimson got half a lap on our second place car. Tim Bink. Smee still in third. Fourth is the apprentice, Ben McCastry. Four remaining. For our race leader. He goes across the line now. Tim Bink still solid in second. Oh, Bruce McKenzie, something broke on that car. In the 15, you can hear it go bang. Something went amiss on Bruce. Three to go. Bailey, trouble on turn one, four. He'll win back to the pits, hopefully. We'll stay green. Doing it with ease out in front. Bink still in second, Smee in third. One to go for Daryl Brimson.
Down the back straight into three and four. Your winner in the late model firecracker, Daryl Grimson. Skipper, Needham, Stanchel, Vassal. Sayers, we're free. Mark Adard had an absolute shocking start. The bloke that opened up the top side of the racetrack. Oh, Hogan nearly spins it in turn three. The top side of the racetrack opened up for young Toby Bell-Well and also Benny Atkinson. They got a blind of a race start. Well, there's a couple of motors that absolutely sound terrible out there. Race leader though, car number five of Dean Thomas. Benny Atkinson gets a good run down underneath Toby Bell-Well into turn three. Benny makes contact with Toby. Benny did the slide job. Toby kept the foot into the bucket. Back to third goes Toby. Sean Dicker going back to the pits. Thomas into lap traffic in car number five. Benny Atkinson in second position. Toby Belbold in third. Hogan in fourth. Matt Thomas in fifth. Roddy Belbold will back then. Then we go back to Timmy Evans. Mark Adard, Brian Suitsy, Jordan Braith, he's gone backwards. Five down, 25 remaining. Impressed with Dean Thomas. Oh, Hogan spins in front of Matt Thomas. They both stay on the gas. Very, very lucky. Now, Benny Atkinson's car craft through lap traffic should help him out big time. So Thomas has gone to the bottom in car five. Benny still on the top side. Benny goes to the bottom in turn three. Slide jobs, Thomas. Thomas gonna try and wheel it back on the outside. Couldn't quite get it done in the Thomas fiberglass number five. Has a crack back on the top side into one and two. He's not gonna give this up easy. You can see Benny though right in front of him on the top into turn three. Lord Thomas went very hot into turn four. Jump the cushion. That's going to let third place car Toby Bell Bowen inch that little bit closer. Benny Atkinson out in front with 21 remaining. So Dean Thomas in second position. He's got caught up behind Kraft. That's let young Toby through to second. Third is Dean Thomas. Fourth would be Roddy Bell Bowen. Then we go back to Hogan. Matt Thomas. Then we go back to the... 52 of Adar, got a great run out of turn two. Timmy Evans, then we go back to Suzy, Needham, Dalamont, then we have Kim Becker, Jordan Brazier, Gary Hahn, Michael Matchett, Skipper, and then to our race leader, Benny Atkinson and Toby's closed on him just that little bit. 18 remaining for your race leader in the pick and pay list number two, J and J, the Darwin Express of Benny Atkinson. Oh, very wide, Hayley Sayers. I know it's Warren Vassal. My apologies to Haley. No race leader. In heavy lap traffic. Second place car, Toby Belmore, trying to get through the traffic as well. Benny's actually cleared away from him. 16 remaining. Bowen trying to get past Thomas for third. Dean Thomas in the five. But Thomas fiberglass, number five. Still in third position. Roddy in fourth. Race leader into turn three. Got two lap cars in between him and second place car. Dean Thomas doing a nice job running the top side of the racetrack. Got that Thomas fiberglass car working well. Still on the podium at the moment. 13 remaining for your race leader. Benny Atkinson goes past Arthur. Toby still in second. Dean Thomas still there in third. Shuts the door on Roddy Belbowen. 13 remaining. It's all about not making mistakes when you're in lap traffic. Not jumping too early, not making that silly mistake. 
of many still your race leader, Toby still in second. Dean Thomas doing a hell of a job in third. Running up against the cushion. Keeping that Thomas fiberglass number five nice and straight. Whereas Roddy's trying to wheel it in on the bottom. Because it's still greasy on the bottom if you get too low, the car just straight lines and it's unsettling the race car for Belt Wellwood. Whereas Thomas has got all that momentum on the top and it's working for him. Then he's got cars everywhere in front of him. As does Toby Belwellwood. Now Roddy moves up to third. On the bottom side, Thomas trying to wheel around the top side. It's peak hour down into turn three. There is cars everywhere. It's like a double file restart. I don't know how everybody got through that. Now Thomas, who was in third, he went off the race track down to turn four. That's let Roddy up to third. Race leader though, Benny Atkinson. Now he's in peak hour. Cars are all over the racetrack. I don't know how many chair offs they're going to left. Seven remaining. So Benny's got a clear track on the top side in front of him. That's what he wants. Toby trying to do the same. Roddy, feeling it on the bottom side. Six remaining. Atkinson, he's through the heaviest part of the lap traffic. Toby hit the bottom side of the racetrack big time in three and four. Actually very lucky not the bicycle, the race car. Benny's gone to the bottom in three and four. Hogan that started on the front row, he's just put him down a lap. Oh, Hogan spins, turn two, turn one. Yellow light will come on. Car spun in turn one. We go green. Thomas in the foot five went very high in turn two. Dean Thomas coming back. And Roddy to try and get that podium. Hogan off the way. A lot of smoke out of Timmy Evans's car. So Benny is your race leader. Thomas wheeling it, trying to wheel it around the outside of Roddy. Goes the slide job in one and two. Bucks contact. Two to go. Benny, still your race leader. Thomas in third. Roddy in fourth. Checkers about to come out though. Benny Atkinson's gonna take the win. Good job, Benny. Home in second goes Toby. Third to Dean Thomas. Fourth to Roddy. Here he is, Benny Atkinson climbing up to do the little wing dance. Takes out the final club show of the year.